I'm going to show you how to fight the Eater of Worlds, or I'm going to show you how to not to fight the Eater of Worlds. One of the two will happen. It's going to not try to damage race it like I did last time with uh, the XR channel. And you really, really don't get around it. Two. Activate these things before it gets me. No! Shit! Oh no, it's so going to explode, and I don't think I have enough time to do it. Yep. That is that is the phase that gets me. I think I'm just not fast enough. I don't think that I just need to be faster with it. Because as soon as we get to the damage phases, it's literally just don't stand in one spot for too long, and then you're fine. Angle. Oh, that's a hundred. Cool. That's a forbidden flesh. Oh, I got a lot of good stuff here. What do we get? Okay, we got the Inextricable Fate, which max rolled life. And almost max rolled critical strike, uh, reduced critical strike damage. That's really nice. That, yeah, that actually rolled really well. With the ex Exceptional Eldritch Ichor. Which roll, which costs about 80 C. Got our Void Stone, and finally, the most valuable of them all. Did we get a valuable Forbidden Flesh? This will be worth somewhere between 1 C and 1 Mirror. First Strike, last to fall. Ooh, that's the Adrenaline one from Champion. That's from... Yeah, that, that's, that's Champ Champion from Duelist. How valuable are you? You are a div and a hell. Yeah. Okay, so I basically got, like, two div worth of stuff and my void stone. That is very nice.